It's summer, time to hit the road. That's why we're going to have a shave with the Classic Samurai Travel Razor coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WhatChamers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeToon.com. I'm back in our video. Great to see you again. Love getting together with you, talking all things traditional wet shave. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, it's summer. It's travel time, vacation time, that sort of thing. And that's why we're going to be reviewing using and reviewing the Classic Samurai four-piece travel safety razor right here. This is from uh, Amazon.com. It's less than $20 online. Really terrific. It comes in a beautiful leather case. Uh, nice size, very, very roomy. And inside, you get your four pieces right there. Well, one of them fell down there. <laughs> it is very, very roomy. Let's see if I can show that to you again. Okay, well, we'll just take it out. It's kind of sitting on its side there. Okay, here's you get your base plate and your cap. Okay, get the bottom part of the handle here. And you also, this, this is the one that kept kind of falling down in there because it is very, very roomy. So you could even put some blades in there if you want to. Uh, comes with the top part of the handle right here. So it's a, it's a four piece razor. Now, the thing that I like about it is this handle is solid. My understanding is it's a brass framed handle that's chrome plated uh, and the bottom part of the handle is solid. A lot of other travel razors that uh, I've seen, also the one I've used, the A1R from Parker, the bottom part of the handle is hollow. This one is solid. So it goes together like this. There it is right there. There's the handle there. Okay. And then the, uh, the base and the cap go together like that. And... That screws on uh, just like that. Just like that. Isn't that nice? Very, very nice. And we're going to have a shave with it. So let me just take this apart here again. And we're going to use a Platinum Strangelet razor blade from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, I like these a lot. These are terrific, terrific blades. So let's go ahead and load the blade right now. And we're going to try to keep things in the spirit of a travel shave, a shave on the road, a shave while on vacation, that sort of thing, more or less. Of course, uh, your mileage may vary as to what you take along when you are on the road traveling as far as wet shave gear. Uh, it's going to vary from person to person. Here is the blade right here. There's the cap. It's going to drop that on there like that. Here's the base plate. Now, this is very, very nicely chromed. Uh, and attach that handle again. There it is. No buffer ring. I've used a buffer ring with it, and uh, this time around, I'm not going to use the buffer ring. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, balance and alignment are really very nice. End tabs are very, very nearly enclosed. You can feel them, but you can feel the end tabs, but they're not going to get in the way. But there it is. Isn't that nice? That's a nice sized razor. And we're going to have a shave. We're going to do a cold water shave because it is summer. It's rather warm and muggy this week, so we're going to do a cold water shave. Here we're going to use Barbaro Italiano Shave Soap. Now I'm using this because it's a four ounce container. So this is something you could probably fit in your dop kit very, very easily. And it's a wonderful summertime kind of scent. Um, along the lines of future fiction, if you've ever used that. Very kind of a... Uh, you know, kind of citrusy, fruity, medley kind of thing. Really, really very, very nice. Uh, so we got that. We're also going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0. Now, uh, because it's tr travel, if I was on the road, I would use a tube, the Tube 2.0 right here for travel. But I'm getting low on this, so I'm going to say <laughs> save that just in case I do have to have a good weekend getaway. I'm going to take that. So I'm going to use this right here, the Cube 2.0. Uh, we're going to finish it off with my Allen block, the no-slip grip, and the dry dock system, although this Allen block does come in a travel case. So that works out very, very well as well. And we're going to finish it off with Future Fiction. After shaving cologne right here, the splash, 
and also the balm for upstairs right there. Yeah, again, this will complement, the future picture will complement the Italiano Barbano. Uh, no, Bar <laughs> Barbaro Italiano. There it is right there. I'll let you get a look at it. Barbaro Italiano. I've reviewed this. This is terrific. It makes a great ladder. And it really has a wonderful summertime kind of scent. All right, so you know what? Cold water shave. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be using my solar flare brush with the butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. This is a nice travel size. This can double as a travel size uh, shave brush uh, or daily driver at home. It's got a nice size. That's why I'm using it. Uh, you can use it either way. Uh, really a terrific, terrific size. Very versatile is what I'm saying. Okay, let's wet the face now and let's get to the shave. Oh, very refreshing. Here I'm going to use the cube again. If I were on the road, I would take the tube 2.0, but I got to get another one. It's getting low. But I just want to have that in case, just in a pinch. But my next order, I'm going to order it again. Okay. Okay, let's rinse. Nice and cold. Cold water throughout. Terrific. Okay, now this is going to be my pre-shave. Step one was to use the cube to, or the tube, to clean the face, uh, degrease it, that sort of thing. Step two is to just work it in as kind of a base. It'll really help whatever shaving soap you're using, whatever you're going to lather with. All right, let me just get that little bit out of my eye there. All right, um, here is the uh, bottom part of the container. This. <laughs> Part of the container with the soap in it. There it is right there. And uh, just dump that little bit of water out there. Just want to get some moisture in there. And here we go with my brush. Going to go ahead and load this up. Oh, that's terrific. And again, this seems to be a good size. Four ounce size, throw in your dab kit. You know, not overly large, not too small. Depending on how long you're going to be on vacation, uh, probably would work out very well. Lots of options when you're uh, when you're traveling, aren't there? You could take a smaller tube of shave cream if you want to. You could take smaller uh, smaller jar samples. You know those smaller jars. Put some samples in there. You know what I'm talking about. Smaller than this. Oh, look at that, boy. That's really. Look at that. Look at that already. Look at that peak right there. That that's ready to go. And we are doing a face lather. And, uh, boy, this is a great, my gosh, this is wonderful. Wow. That's a lot. Oh, man. And the cold water is uh, very refreshing. A great summertime shave, for sure. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's marvelous. I mean, in no time flat, boom, lather, look at that, huh? Really terrific. Well, this shape soap is made in Italy. And I'll get you a link. This is marvelous shape soap. And again, the scent is just so, it's sweet, citrusy, has a nice fruit medley to it. Just really terrific. Perfect for the summer. All right, we're going to run this under some cold water. And we're going to get right to this shave, huh? Alrighty, that's cold, cold water. Oh, that's good in cold water. This, I have found this razor to be nice and mild, yet efficient. I got about a day's worth of beard growth. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. 
Oh yeah. Nice and mild, very, very smooth. That's mar that's marvelous. Perfect, perfect, perfect for taking on the road if you're looking for a nice, mild travel razor. No tugging, no pulling. Nice protection. Really terrific. Love the action of this uh, razor. It just has a really nice efficiency, yet this really nice, smooth, mild quality. Not bad getting up underneath the nostrils. I'll have to get the uh, remainder on the east to west pass. That was pretty good. Let me just remove a little bit of water out of the sink here because <laughs> I'm taking it from the tap where it's nice and cool and it's filling up the sink a little bit. But boy, it's been a really productive shave so far. All right, uh, first pass done, let's rinse. That's terrific. That really is. I like throwing a little extra water on my face so that it helps the lathering process for this next lathering that I'm going to be doing here. And uh, nice first pass. I don't know if it's really socially acceptable. I think it's on the cusp of being socially acceptable, to be perfectly honest with you, because it's a nice mild razor. So I am taking the beard down in stages, and that's okay. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the shave. All right, here we go with... Lathering up for pass number two, and boy, plenty of soap in the knot. You saw how nice that was. That nice peak at the very beginning there. Oh boy, it's got a great, great moisturizing quality to it too. Oh my goodness, that's marvelous. This is this is definitely a favorite. Boy, this is this is terrific. All right, I'm just setting it back in the uh, container here, like that, and then I'm going to wipe off my hands a little bit here because uh, it's a good slick shaving soap, no doubt about it. All right, so let me just put this under some cold water again here, get that nice cool razor uh, for the second pass. All right, here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Oh, man. Beautiful. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Platinum strange lip blade. Really terrific in this razor. Again, I love the added weight of this handle. That is a real big selling point to me. The A1R, the Mercur travel razors have hollow handles. They're not bad, but in contrast, boy, I really like the added weight here. Okay, it's nice and mild to where I could do a little bit of that, but also the soap has a lot of nice slickness. Okay, yeah. 
no tugging or pulling there. Did a really nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting the remaining, remaining little bits there. Very, very nicely done. Second pass done, let's rinse. Okay, this shave is done. This shave is absolutely done. It's a beautiful, beautiful, efficient, mild razor. I probably could do a third pass if I want to do a little touch up, but I am right now in upper darn fine shave territory. And as I've always mentioned and other wet shavers have mentioned, don't chase the BBS. Don't try to find the BBS at the BBS find you. Two passes is fine for this shave with this razor. I could do a third pass. Very easily, it would be enjoyable, it would be comfortable, it would be mild, it wouldn't result in any irritation. I want to move the video along, uh, and I want to do this final cold water rinse, and just talk about the razor a little more. Alright, so here's my final cold water rinse. Marvelous, absolutely marvelous. That's very refreshing. What a great shave. Clean, fresh towel waiting for it right here. What a great shave. Wow, that was really, really marvelous. Terrific, terrific shave. You know, all the elements that I have here, I could very easily throw in my doff kit and take with me on the road. The, only other, the other things that I might include would be maybe um, a styptic pencil like this or this kind of styptic uh, pencil right here, which is called uh, Goodline. It's kind of a rollerball liquid kind of a thing going on there. Either one of those, just to have those, just in case. But this razor is nice and mild. Uh, I think you would be hard-pressed to nick yourself with this razor. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to give you any kind of, I mean, your miles may vary, let me put you that way. But for me, boy, that's a nice shave. That really is a terrific shave. And that shave soap did a marvelous, marvelous job. All right, here is uh, my alum block right here. So we're going to run this under some cold water. And uh, see what's what. Okay, let's see. Let's use this. Okay, right here. Yeah, that's good. Trying to figure out which side to use. This one right here. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Boy, that's smooth as ice. That's a nice shave. Man, that's nice. Again, I could have done a third pass, but two passes is fine. Uh, two days worth of growth, I would definitely do a third pass. But for one day's worth of growth, two passes seems to be fine for me for this razor. Again, I could probably do a touch-up if I wanted to or a third pass. But, um, you know, six and one half a dozen the other, but it was a nice shave. Here's the dry dock. There's the alum block. Let the air in the room do the rest of the work. I'm going to show you the, the brush here. This uh, Barbaro Italiano. Bar uh, rub, I'm sorry, rub, rub, bar, rub, Rabarbaro, I think is how it's pronounced. Rabarbaro, that's it. Rabarbaro Italiano. Rabarbaro, yeah, Rabarbaro Italiano. I'm calling it Babaro, Rabarbaro. <laughs> I apologize. Rabarbaro, Rabarbaro. I think I got it right. Go get the label and I'll spell it below so you know exactly what it is if you want some. My apologies. Uh, but here, look at that. Look at that. I have, plenty for, I have plenty for a third pass and even a touch up. Look at that, huh? Boy, it's a great lather too. Really, really nice, rich and creamy. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really do like this uh, shave soap a lot. And again, it comes in a, uh, let me show you, it comes in a four ounce container here. A little over four ounces. I think 4.12, three ounces, something like that. Let's wipe it off here just to show you. And then here's the lid, and uh, that's the size of it right there. Yeah, it's terrific. Uh, 
Rabarbaro. Rabarbaro. <laughs> Rabarbaro. Okay, Italiano. This is, it's just, it's, it's really very, very good. If you know the pronunciation, let me know. Rabarbaro. I think Italiano. It's really, very, very nice. All right. Uh, let's finish it up with some future fiction. I can say that. <laughs> future fiction. That's not difficult. Okay. Here it is right here. Okay. Oh, man. That's terrific. This. Yeah. This complements this shave soap. So if you have future fiction, get this uh, Rababaro Italiano. And it'll go nicely with the future fiction. It really will. It's it's terrific. And here is the Star Jelly, their uh, version, their balm. About that much there. And then we're going to... I need a head shave. I know I need a head shave. going to do a head shave later on. Okay. Great shave. Really terrific, terrific shave from a really, really surprisingly, surprisingly good, well-priced, nice performing travel razor. Really do like the classic Samurai four-piece travel razor. Uh, nicely chromed, solid brass handle, chrome plated, uh, good blade balance and alignment, end tabs very nearly enclosed. You can just barely feel not a deal breaker, but again, blade alignment and balance, very good. Less than $20, comes with a nice, nice, beautiful leather, uh, leather holder, a leather case that is very roomy for this. As I say, there's extra room in there, and I would venture a guess that you could put some razor blades in here along with the, uh, the, uh, the actual razor here. Now, there are some... Um, you see some stitching on the back here. That is for some elastic bands. I don't know if you can see that in there. There are some elastic bands in there. See that? I don't know if you can see that. Elastic bands. Here's a here's one of the elastic bands. Right. I don't know if you can see that. One of the elastic bands. Right there. See that? Okay, that's to hold the handle parts and the razor head in place. And uh, again, plenty of room to stick in maybe a five pack of double end blades. That sort of thing, and really plenty of very, very roomy when compared to the A1R from Parker. That's just for the razor, but this one I get the impression that I could put some blades in there. I haven't tried it yet, just a guess on my part. Well, you know what? Let's try it right now. Why not? The uh, one handle here, you can see I've already got the razor head in there. Okay, see that right there? Cap and base plate in there. Okay, I'm going to put this in here like this. I'm going to put this. This is the top. This is the top part of the handle, bottom part of the handle. And I'm going to take these blades, and I'm just going to fit them in there like that. Okay, and they're in there. Look at that. See the blades in there? Blades are in there with the handle, and, and that little handle is kind of laying down a little bit now. It's not standing up right, but it's giving me enough room. So, yeah, so there it is. Okay, I can go in and reorganize it later. But there it is, blades and the razor. That's not bad at all. Uh, I like that a lot. Again, the uh, the handle, the small part of the handle tends to lay down there a little bit, so I'm just going to put that in. Okay, there we'll put it in there like that, okay? There. Okay, we're going to stand the blades up like that, and the handle, small part of the handle standing up on this side here, and then we'll just snap this closed. There you go. Now that works. Yeah, this was, this was terrific. This was really, really terrific. I enjoyed the shave with it. Nice mild razor, great, just a really nice design. I like the uh, the idea that it is a um, uh, heavyweight handle, solid handle, uh, four piece razor, roomy, very very roomy uh, leather case, and uh, it delivered a really nice shave. So that's it, the uh, classic Samurai Travel Razor, uh, less than twenty dollars from Amazon.com. Uh, I'll have a link below where you can get your very own. comes with this beautiful leather travel case and enough room for the razor and some blades. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in. Again, I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog. For my comments with George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. 
Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out VikingsBlade.com for some great shaving gear. For all things Barbas, check out Big Dude Barbas. Check out Denton Magic and check out the Sudsy Soapery. All of them have great, great shaving soaps. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerani where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.